friends. This is, I'm trying to figure out, I can't, I can never see when people join. And I know there's like a little box and I can't figure out how to use it. Anyways, hi, thanks for joining me today for um, Essential Oils 101. It is our weekly call and I'm super excited to be with you today. And I've changed locations just a smidge, so hopefully that will help with our um, connection in the house. Um, anyways, and I have some new information that I hope I can remember to share with you. Anyways, um, today we're going to be talking about Essentials Oils 101. So we're going to talk about what are essential oils. We're going to talk about how to use essential oils. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how to obtain those essential oils. So, um, some of you are new to my page. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I have been using doTERRA essential oils for about four years. Um, one of my girlfriends introduced me to essential oils. She had attended um, an at-home party and came back and she just was super duper excited about it and just was tickled by all the different uses um, for essential oils that she could incorporate in her life. And I didn't think too much about it until my older daughter Grace came home with the lice which you know is just the biggest nuisance ever. So I reached out to Rebecca and I was like, surely there's got to be some sort of preventative spray that I can use um, to keep the dreaded lice away. And there is, and it is, just in case you're curious. I should have this memorized, but I don't. Um, it is eucalyptus, rosemary, mullica lemon, and lavender in a spray bottle. And after your child washes their hair, you spray that on and it's a really great lice prevention. So once I started doing that, um, I really got into the diffusers and then I started using um, the vitamins and the toothpaste and the hand soap and the shampoo and the conditioner and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then about six months ago, I converted from a customer to a wellness advocate, um, from a wholesale membership customer to a wellness advocate. And my knowledge base has really grown and I've really started understanding more about the topical uses about more internal uses um, and just so much more about the different ways to use essential oils and incorporate it into your life. So um, I'm super excited about sharing that with you. So the deal with doTERRA essential oils is that they are 100% whatever it says on the bottle. So if it says lemon, for example, then it's going to be 100% lemon peels. That's all that's in there. There's nothing else. There are no added preservatives or chemicals or anything of that nature. Um, that necessarily will not be the case if you were to purchase an essential oil from, you know, a local farmer's market or from your local grocery store or something like that. Hi, Maddie. Yay. See, I can see when some people get on. So um, that's what's so awesome about doTERRA is that it's truly 100% what it, what it says it is. Um, recently, for my book club, I read Educated by Tara um, Westover, and I share this with you because it's a very interesting story, and Tara's family is from Idaho, and they're very much into, um, the mom is very much into herbs and making her own essential oils and uses them for medical purposes. And the thing with um, doTERRA, with essential oils, is that you can definitely replace um, some products with essential oils. So we'll never be chemical or toxin free. We don't live in a bubble, but there are certain things that we can replace with essential oils um, to decrease the toxins and um, the chemicals in our body. That being said, if you cut off your finger, please go to the urgent care. Don't try to use essential oils to put back your finger. Or um, like in the book, her father has like this horrible explosion and half his face gets chopped, you know, burned off. Don't use essential oils to fix that. So um, essential oils really, um, there are some medical purposes for essential oils and I do have a special, um, training session that's called replacing um, your medicine cabinet with essential oils. But definitely, you know, we do like modern medicine for sure. Um, also what's interesting is her mother um, does create her own small business of essential oils, which I found on the internet, it does exist. Um, 
and and in the story, she was making these essential oils out of her kitchen. I don't know if that's still the case, but what's nice about doTERRA is that these are certified, um, verified, 100% um, good top quality essential oils. And in fact, each of the oils has a number on it so that you can go to the website and check it out and verify that this indeed has been third party tested and it is actually what it says it is. So I like that. So essential oils are fantastic. They are 100% natural. Um, they are going to be 50 to 70% more effective or more concentrated than herbs. Um, they are not addictive, which is super important. They can be used on anybody. They can be used on your children, on your elderly family members, on yourself, on pregnant women. Um, they can just be used for everybody. So we really like that a whole bunch. So what we're gonna talk about next, so we know what essential oils are, and I can give you so much more information. The doTERRA website has tons of videos about how they go through in creating, you know, acquiring the oils from the particular plants and um, fruits and trees and things like that. But I won't go into that. So, but what I will go into next is the three ways in which to use essential oils. So we use essential oils aromatically, we use them internally and we use them topically. Um, also, here's this little product guide that I'm gonna reference. Um, it's 68 pages and I meant to put it onto this um, website. I will put it onto the website so you can peruse through it. I don't recommend um, printing it off because it's 68 pages. And Maddie, you, you're in my hood so I can give you one because I have extras. So I'm gonna reference this. Um, and then I'll also put the um, link onto the website so that you can use it as well. Anyway, so it's the three ways in which you use it. And if you go to page nine, it will show you all of the single essential oils that we have through doTERRA. And it will show you if you can use it aromatically, which you can indeed, if you can use it internally or if you can use it topically. So aromatically means aromatically, right? So you can put it in your diffuser, which is my favorite way in which to use essential oils, or you can just take a drop of essential oils, put it in your hand, rub it together, and then breathe in. And it's the fastest way to get to your brain. So I just put in um, lemon, which is a super, um, effective energizer so we like that so all of the oils can be used aromatically so feel confident with that the next way is topically and topically you'll see that you have in for neat that means you should be able to put it directly onto your skin s is for sensitive so that would be folks with skin sensitivity or are pregnant women or elderly folks or children what you'd want to do and lemon actually is one that's in sens skin sensitivity, but not for me. You would put um, some fractionated coconut oil in your hand, a drop of the essential oil, rub it together, and put it wherever it needs to go. And then D means dilute, so that's hot. So it's the oregano, that's the uh, cinnamon, it's things like that. Um, regardless, if you put something on your body that's an N, but it's drawn to your bonkers, go ahead and use an oil, such as a fractionated coconut oil or a vegetable oil or anything like that to get it off. Um, soap and water don't work. Just a little tidbit. Poor little Grace feeling. I would put stuff on her and she'd be in a panic and I didn't take it seriously. Um, and then I'd tell her to use soap and water and that doesn't work. You wanna use oil. Now, where do you put the essential oil. You pretty much put the essential oil where the ailment is. So like um, my mom, when she gets out of the shower, I put frankincense directly on her back to help with her moly molies. Um, if you have um, an ache or pain, then you can put it there. The bottom of your feet is super awesome place to put essential oils because you um, have less skin sensitivity and open pores. So we like that. It's a very popular place. Um, you do not want to put it inside your ears and on your eyeball or inside your nose. So those are the no-no places. Um, but essentially, like if your neck hurts, that's where you would put your essential oil. Um, if you have a headache, you know, you put it on your temple, you can put it on your wrists, your heart, things like that. Okay, then the neck, the third way is internally. So you can use um, a veggie cap and 
and take essential oils that way. So um, I was watching this training video and this woman has lupus. And so to treat her lupus symptoms, she was like slathering the bottom of her feet with like 12 different oils. And then finally she decided that she wanted to just create her own veggie oil, veggie caps, um, so that she could one and done type of deal. Um, you could do that as well. You just want to be mindful of the fact that the um, veggie caps are heat sensitive. So, you know, if you, they can melt together and then you kind of ruin them. So you want to do them one at a time. Um, also, my new favorite thing is to drink my essential oils. See, this is something new since I've become a wellness advocate. I've learned the beauty of drinking my essential oils. So um, you want to use a metal or a glass bottle. I did not trust myself with glass, so I used metal, um, not plastic. And I don't know the chemistry behind that, but I did recently post the chemistry behind that from someone way smarter than me. It's on my page, but I don't know. So you wanna use metal or plastic, or excuse me, metal or glass, not plastic. And it's really gonna be a trial and error thing. So my favorite is the lemon, lavender, and peppermint. And I do a whole bunch of lemon, like 10 drops, and then I only do two drops of peppermint, two drops of lemon, and that's enough. The first time I drank lavender, I got real excited and did like 10 drops of lavender, and I did not enjoy it at all. Like, it was just not drinkable. Um, and then if you do too much peppermint, then it burns my mouth. So, it's just one of those trial and error things. I also have been drinking lime, because that's really good for you. All of the citrus... Um, oils are really great to drink. Um, they detoxify your body, which is awesome. So, Maddie, and whomever else might be watching, if you text me right now, 512-574-2410, and tell me what's in that allergy balm, you will be a prize winner. And that would be lemon, lavender, and peppermint, just so you know. And I'll say it again. Okay, so, um... On, I'm trying to find on here in our product guide. It shows you that here we go So on page 34, it shows you the veggie caps that you can use to create your own um, Veggie at uh, your own essential oil wonderness. Here's top an example of topical um, I personally get the HEB lotions and then I put I go cuckoo crazy with the um, Essential oils and you can trade them out so I'll make my own lotion. And then here are the diffusers. And I love the diffusers. And I have a variety of diffusers going on all throughout my house. Um, and they're just fantastic. You, of course, can buy diffusers from the local store or Amazon. That's fine. Um, but I do recommend the doTERRA because they're good quality. And I'm very pleased with them. And again, I have them just scattered all over my house. Okay, so here's where the fun begins. So we talked about what are essential oils. We talked about how to use essential oils the three methods. And now we're gonna go through and talk about the top 10 essential oils um, and the various ways in which you can use them. So the first one is frankincense. And frankincense is considered the king of oils. When in doubt, bring frankincense out. Isn't that catchy? Um, frankincense, like I said earlier, I use that for um, to put on my mom's back for her moly mollies. They were kind of driving her crazy. And so I put it on her back and then I put deep blue rub on her back. Um, huge results. And then I have a little frankincense um, touch that I have a mole on my thigh and I always just put this on there. Um, frankincense is a really good mood booster. So you can put a couple of drops directly under your tongue right there. And that'll help with, um, give you a little mental alertness boost. Um, frankincense helps with cellular repair, which we're going to talk about that in a little bit later. So frankincense is really good, um, for the cellular repair, which obviously, you know, you need to repair your cells so that you stay as healthy as humanly possible. You can also take a drop and put it on your thumb and then put it on the roof of your mouth and that will help with migraines. Um, you can diffuse frankincense and it will help give you feelings of peace, satisfaction, and overall health. You can massage it onto your wrists and arms to uplift mood and increase focus Hi, Allison, my birthday girlfriend. You can put it on the bottom of your feet to promote feelings of relaxation and balance your mood. Hi, Terry. 
Um, so frankincense is really awesome, and I'm learning new ways in which to use this as well. And uh, frankincense is just wonderful. Hi, Diana. Okay, so here's frankincense. The next one we want to talk about is lavender, and lavender is our soothing oil. You guys are probably pretty familiar with this because it's in all of the baby lotions um, that are around. So, 512-574-2410, if you can tell me what is in an allergy bomb, which is lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Um, you can put some lavender into a spray bottle. You can even do like a little spray bottle like this. Um, and it will help with sunburns because lavender really helps with skin imperfections. Also, you can use this if you get like mosquito bites or bug bites. You can put a little drop of lavender in there. Um, it helps with um, reducing anxious feelings. So we really like that a lot. And of course, lavender is really helpful for sleep. So I like to diffuse lavender um, in my diffuser right by my bed. You could also get a little spray bottle again, um, especially if you're traveling, this is nice to put some water and lavender in and then spray your bed sheets and your pillows. And that really helps a lot. So lavender is just, Super wonderful, and think about it as your soothing blend, not only just with your brain, but also with skin, um, mosquito bites, bug bites, general things like that. Okay, so lemon we know as our cleansing oil. So of course, this is what you can use if you want to make a spray bottle of water and lemon, and you can um, spray your kitchen counters, you can put a, a bowl of water, and lemon in the microwave and you know help clean your microwave um, you can add frankincense to water for sure because it is um, you can use it internally and frankincense doesn't taste very good I gotta be honest with you the first time I put a couple drops under my tongue it like blew me away and it was in such a I was in such a panic I was like reading through my modern essentials book and I was like oh my god is this internal can I do it and sure enough it is but it does not taste good at all but you get used to it um but so lemon you know is good for cleaning you can put a uh, put some on a cotton ball and throw it into your um, vacuum cleaner and when you're vacuuming it makes the room smell good or you can put it in um, baking soda and put it on your carpets to clean and it smells really good but what's awesome about lemon is that it helps clean you internally so that's why i like drinking it um again 512-574-2410 tell me what's in an allergy balm lemon lavender and peppermint um so i really like lemon all of the citrus um, essential oils are going to be really great for your internal body and it helps detoxify you, particularly your liver. Um, and it does really, um, Diana, I'm not sure what you mean by special type to add to your water. Just any of the essential oils for frankincense, it'll tell you if you can take it internally. It tells you on the bottle if you can take it, um, it says aromatic or topical use, how you can diffuse it. And then also, um, it'll tell you if you can take it internally. So it says like for internal use to dilute it or not. Um, but so you can find it on your bottle or on your product guide or on the doTERRA website. It will tell you um, how you can use it. Just note to self that most of your blends, which I'll talk about some of those, you don't use internally. Um, but so lemon is really awesome to detoxify yourself and it helps also um, do some amazing things with cell repair as well. So we love the lemon, it's really good. Um, also it will help with heartburn. So if you're experiencing heartburn, drink some lemon and water and it will help with that. Okay, peppermint, the third of our allergy bomb, 512-574-2410. Listen, I need a prize winner because it's been weeks, so please do not be shy. Prize winner could be you. It could be multiples of you. Um, okay, so peppermint is going to be our cool and invigorate. Um, this is really great if you or your child is suffering from a fever. So again, for my friends who joined a little bit late, um, essential oils are awesome for um, medical purposes. It's a great way to replace things in your medicine cabinet. But if you have, <laughs> if you have um, 
a true medical emergency, please go to your local ER. So like if you chop off your finger, don't try to use essential oils to fix it. Um, I haven't said what the prize might be, but I have a whole bunch of stuff in my prize box, Jenna. Oh, and Jenna, I'm gonna see you on Thursday. So if you want one of these, let me know. So you don't have to print it off. Um, so this is a really great fever reducer, but you know, if your child or yourself has a fever that's super duper high and it's ongoing, take you and your child into the ER. But if it's one of those, you know, you kind of want to just write it out and let the bugs kind of do their thing, then the peppermint is good. Um, it's also great for, so you put on the base of their spine to help reduce the fever. Um, this is also really good for a uh, muscle pain. Um, if you inhale peppermint, it will help with your sinuses. It also helps you curb your cravings and gives you an energy boost. So it's pretty awesome. So you inhale it and then you will um, curb your cravings, clear your sinuses and get an energy boost. We like that whole bunch. You can also add it to your shampoo to stimulate the scalp, energize your mind and wake you up. Um, peppermint's one that you do want to be a little conscientious about when you drink it because if you put too much in your water into your metal or glass water bottle um, it's gonna burn your lips so just be conscientious of that that's why when I do my allergy balm in here I'll do 10 drops of lemon two drop two to three drops of peppermint and two to three, three drops of lavender because it's just a little bit too much and one of my girlfriends did this in her bath it was an unpleasant experience. So just be mindful. We like peppermint, but just be conscientious about where you put it. Um, and again, if you were to put on an essential oil that's too hot for you, then you want to use an oil, fractionated or veggie, something of that nature to get it off. Soap and water will not do the trick for you. Okay, Melicaluca. Melicaluca is also known as tea tree. This is for skin, scalp, and nails. So I've shared before how I have um, scalp eczema. And so that means I have a little these awesome hot spots on my head. So I do have a prescription lotion that I use and it is effective, but it gives me a headache. So I like to use the Melicaluca and just put it all on my um, hot spots and it works. Um, I do not get a headache and then my pillow smells really refreshing. Now, if through the, uh, the allergy balm, it doesn't ease your symptoms. So again, that's lemon, lavender, and peppermint. If that does not ease your allergy symptoms, then you can add in some melicaluca and that should also do the trick. Um, I also have melicaluca in the touch roll-on and um, I guess it's eczema. I have some weird crustiness on the back of my ear, a little TMI, but I'm sharing. And so I put that on here as well, instead of using a prescription. Not to say modern medicine is bad for you, but we want to look at other ways in which we can um, reduce the toxins that are going into our body. Um, also, if, so for my mom, I replaced her over-the-counter um, allergy pill with the lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and she did not like it. I put it like in a little shot glass for her, and she didn't care for it. So doTERRA does have a product called Tri-Ease, and it is the lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Do you like how I'm repeating myself for a prize winner? 512-574-2410. Um, that's allergy balm. So Melicaluca also helps with mold and mildew. So um, this is great if you have um, your, you or your children have really stinky shoes, you can put a spray of Melicaluca in there. Again, water and uh, Melicaluca. Or you can just put a couple of drops in there as well or the gym bag, any place that's nasty. Um, so ear aches, this is really good. Again, um, if you or your child is experiencing horrible ear aches, go to the doctor. But if it, you try to, you know, let it run its course, what you can do is take some Melicaluca, put on the outside of the ear, put a couple, put a couple of drops on a cotton ball, and then put the cotton ball inside the ear. So you don't want to put a whole bunch of Melicaluca in the ear. You just want to put um, a couple of drops on a cotton ball and then put it in the ear. Um, I recently shared about how my dog. Okay, so now tell me. Oh, good, good job. Thanks, Maddie. Maddie's gonna be a prize winner. Um, so 
I recently shared about how Buttercup, my um, big dog, was having earaches, and so um, essential oils are safe for animals. For dogs and cats, they're not safe for birds, but I found this earache spray for Buttercup, which had four essential oils in it, um, and so I added that with the um, fractionated coconut oil into a spray bottle, and then I put it on some cotton balls, and I put it inside her ear and it helped like a charm. It was so awesome. I know that it was frankincense, lavender, um, I can't pronounce the other one, and then I don't recall what the fourth one was, but I have it on the website. It was awesome. And so that has helped tremendously with her earache because she'd wake up and, you know, constantly flipping her head and then needing her ears to be rubbed. And so I did that, and then um, I'm also putting it on her ears to help with sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Okay, so Melacaluca is awesome. It also helps with dandruff, because it does help with skin, scalp, and nails. Um, it's a great tick remover, um, and it helps with acne. So Melacaluca is just a great product overall. Um, peppermint also helps with an insect repellent, particularly with spiders, so we like that. Okay, now oregano. Oregano is the one that I just haven't found a whole bunch of uses for. It is a natural immunity support um, oil. Now, the I'm gonna come back to that. But anyways, so this you can also use for fungus. This you can drink for sinus and allergy relief as well. Um, one of my friends said that her friend would drink this on a daily basis, so I'm sure she felt incredible inside. Um, but also, she, um, I'm sure she smelled really great. It can treat ringworms and athlete's foot. So you, this is a hot, hot oil. So you would absolutely want to combine it with your fractionated coconut oil first. Um, this helps with menstrual cramps. Um, how do you use for nails with tea tree oil? I would put it just right on your nails, topically. I'd put it on your nails. I'd put it on like your um, cuticles. It would help a whole bunch. You could use the drops or you could use the touch. The um, enrollment kit that I'm gonna talk about is the oil, but they do have a kit where you can buy the um, touch. Um, uh, wait, oregano is also a insect repellent and it can help with hot spots and ringworms on your animals. So again, it is hot, so you want to use your fractionated coconut oil with it. Um, this also helps with menstrual cramps. So I need to remember this when Grace and Caroline get to be a little bit older. So you would want to combine the two and then just rub it all over the belly to help with menstrual cramps. If you have some suggestions on how to use oregano, I would love to hear them because I just, I just can't find. Oh, it's good for pulling teeth. I've not done that before. Are you making a statement, Diana, that it is good for pulling teeth, or are you asking? Because I just don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to um, our blends in the top 10 oils. And this you're gonna find on page 37. Oh, I'll have to look that up for you, Jenna, for arthritis. Well, actually, this probably would help with arthritis. So this is what I use for my mom. Um, you can get an oil um, for deep blue. This is one you do not use internally. Um, you can get an oil or you can get a touch. So I like this a whole bunch. Anyone who's in front of a computer knows how stiff and tight our neck and shoulders can get. And so um, I like to use the deep blue for that. So this is the rub that I put on my mom's back after I do her frankincense. Excuse me, I put frankincense on her back for her moles and then I put the deep blue rub on her back. And then I actually have replaced her Tylenol 3 with the deep blue um, soft gels. So you can't put the deep blue into water like the oil, but you can take the um, Soft gels, and this is really good. This is, so like I said, this is replaced her Tylenol 3 with codeine. I give her one in the morning and one in the afternoon. This is for sore muscles. So, um, oh, I, I love this little dialogue. This is fantastic. Um, 
So this is really good for sore muscles. So pre or post um, workout, this is really good. I use the rub for the girls when they complain of groin pains. And a week or so ago, I was having a hard time going to sleep because my legs ached, with, ached which was very strange. So I used this and it worked almost immediately. So the deep blue is for soothing muscles, which is, is just great. Okay, so Breathe is going to be our respiratory blend. And see, here are the products for Breathe. Um, Breathe is one that you can add to your um, diffuser, and it is so wonderful. Um, it's aromatic or topical use only. We do not use this internally, okay? So we do not use this blend internally. And you can get a touch roll on. So if you're having a hard time breathing, I'll put it you know, under my nose, on my chest. They do have this vapor stick, which of course is gonna give you so much more um, space. And they also have the respiratory drops. So breathe is a respiratory blend. So that's really good to use before you do cardio. You know, if you do have a lot of allergies, you can do your allergy blend, 512. 574-2410. Tell me what's in the allergy balm. And then you can also use the Breathe, and that will help a whole bunch. Um, okay, so the next one is going to be Digestin. And Digestin is just that. This helps you with your digestion. So if you just had a large meal, if you had something that's making you um, gassy and bloated, um, what I do is I put a couple drops right into my belly button and rub, or you can put this in water. So Jenna, em Emily, my sister friend, likes to drink this. She and Gray like to put it in their water and drink it. Um, I mean, that's what it's for. I guess you could diffuse this if you wanted to. It smells good. It smells like um, black licorice. Um, and so that's what digestion is. Okay. So the last one of our, in the top 10, is going to be the On Guard, which there's a whole bunch of products for On Guard. And this is your immunity um, support, your protective blend. And so here's the oil that you'd receive in the top 10 enrollment kit. Um, and this is aromatically, topically, and internally. So if there are bugs floating around, I will put this in my diffuser. You can put this on the bottom of your feet and that will help a whole bunch. Um, you can also drink it. I have not drank it, but I've read like in hot tea, it's really good. I take on a daily basis the On Guard um, soft gels. And I have to say I've been pretty healthy. That amongst a variety of other things. Um, this is my new favorite is the hand spray. So anyone who's around a lot of children or people in general, this is really good to spray. Um, I used it in Grace's lunchbox today because she had some food spoiling in it and it smelled bad. So I gave that to her. Um, this is good to have in your purse. If you um, like go to the gym because people are nasty and they don't clean up after themselves, you just spray the gym equipment, um, your desk. For my teacher friends, what I'd recommend is to get the concentrate and then make your own little spray bottle because I'm sure that, you know, this you're gonna go through pretty fast and this will last you years, years, because I use this all the time. This is what I use as my cleanser. Um, I have the hand soap, Jenna, this, uh, Maddie, this is what you're asking about the other day. Is this the hand soap? And this lasts forever, ever, 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 because it's a foaming hand soap. So I use that. Um, started using the laundry detergent. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And then they have the throat and the beadlets. Um, so these are really good. Again, if you feel like you're about to have, a, you, you feel a cold about to happen, um, these are really good. If you know someone who's trying to quit smoking, I read that this would really help a lot, either the beadlets. Um, and peppermint has beadlets too. And peppermint's good for um, if you have a little tummy issue, so a little motion sickness, anything like that you can um, have the peppermint beadlet, which helps to freshen your breath. The same with the On Guard. So, and it's funny. The peppermint, I mean, it's got quite a kick to it. I like to give it to my husband and he panics because it is quite strong. But anyway, so On Guard has just a whole slew of products um, that try to keep us healthy. Because again, 
we don't live in a bubble. So we are surrounded by germs and um, toxins and chemicals. And so the goal is to try to replace as much as we possibly can to reduce the amount of chemicals and toxins that go into our body. Um, also read that On Guard is good to do a little spray bottle. Um, it's lemon, lavender, and peppermint is what's in the allergy bomb. Um, the On Guard is really good to clean your kids' toys. Do a little spray bottle and spray your kids' toys. I was not very diligent about that. If you are traveling, the On Guard's gonna be great because like you can spray it on your sheets because who knows how germy those are. Or you go into your AC unit and you spray the AC unit and it blasts out into your room because the likelihood of you bringing a diffuser is pretty minimal. Um, you probably could do a couple of drops too. And I just saw an article that talked about um, that your oils stay safe if you travel with them when they go through like the x-ray scan at the airport. They stay safe. I do recommend that um, you bubble wrap them and then put them in Ziploc bags. That's what I did when I went to Seattle because I want to have my essential oils with me so I could drink them. Okay, so those are the top 10 essential oils and we talked about a variety of ways in which to use them. Um, it's exciting because I'm constantly learning new ways in which to use the essential oils. Okay, you gotta tell me who that is. Jenna, is that you? Because you gotta tell me your name because I don't have you programmed in. Um, so those are the top 10 oils. Now what we're gonna quickly talk about is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. These are the vitamins that doTERRA sells and they actually are the number one product um, through doTERRA, surprisingly. It's not the essential oils, it is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And the page to get more information is gonna be on here, page 56. So, um, it's just, I mean, it's great. It's just great. So, the CRS, this is going to be um, for cellular repair. So, it includes um, frankincense. So, this one's really good for cellular repair with frankincense. And then we have your brain food. So, your really good omega and, and frankincense. And then also this is gonna be your properly balanced multivitamin. So the recommendation is to take two of each in the morning and then two of each at lunchtime. Um, and I am awful at remembering to take pills more than once a day, so I only take these in the morning. I take these in the morning and then I take my On Guard and then I take my PB Assist, PB Plus Assist um, on a daily basis. So that's what I take. Okay, so we have talked about what are essential oils and when to use them. Again, if you need major medical attention, please go see the doctor. Um, Jenna, so you missed it, but we talked about um, Educate and her mom uses um, essential oils and her herbs to for major medical care and it's super interesting. So I can't wait to talk to you about this on Thursday. And she's created her own company. And in the com in the book, the um, essential oils was done in her kitchen. So the likelihood of it being top quality and passing third party quality tests is highly unlikely opposed to doTERRA in which they do go through third party testing. And there's numbers on your um, bottles that you can then go to a website and check and verify that yes, indeed, this is a quality product. Okay, so... The last thing I wanted to talk to you about, oh, and on Thursday, I'm gonna talk about focus and concentration. I can't wait to talk about that. Because every Thursday, I do a special training. On Mondays, I do the essential oil one-on-one, -on -one, and then on Thursdays, I do a special training. Um, and so if you'd like to um, attend that, let me know and I will add you to my private Facebook page. Okay, so um, the way to order doTERRA is you can order it retail and that would be like you going to a hair salon and picking up a bottle and paying full price for it. The second way is to do a wholesale membership and it's just like if you were to go to Costco or Sam's and you pay your yearly fee and then you get um, a discount. So for doTERRA it's $35 a year 
and you get 25% off, which is fantastic. So if you go to the website, you'll see X dollar retail and then Y dollar, dollar is wholesale. Um, so for someone who buys a bottle of lavender and that's all they plan on buying for the you know foreseeable future, then retail is fine. But if you are gonna buy, um, you know, you feel like this is something you're gonna embrace and you're gonna incorporate into daily life, then the $35 is well spent for sure. And then the next year, it's $25 and then you get a bottle of peppermint. So it basically pays for itself. Um, now, September, I know you guys have seen it because I'm super excited about it. On six of the eight enrollment kits, it's 20% off. The enrollment kit is super cool because it's discounted and it includes your wholesale membership, which means any product you purchase above and beyond, you get 25% off. There are two enrollment kits that I recommend. The first one is called the Home Essentials Kit, which has the top 10 oils, all in 15 milliliter bottles, except for the Deep Blue, which is in a five milliliter bottles. For everything that you use, you're gonna want the 15 milliliter, except for maybe the oregano, because again, can't figure out what to use this for. So the Home Essentials is gonna include 10, nine, 15 milliliter bottles, and then the Deep Blue is gonna be a five milliliter bottle and a diffuser. So we like that, because as soon as you get your oils, you're gonna to wanna to diffuse them, because it's fantastic. Um, the second uh, enrollment kit, and this is actually the one that I purchased, is called the Natural Solutions Kit, and that includes oh, the top 10 essential oils, some additional essential oils, the Lifelong Vitality Pack, it includes the you know Deep Blue Rub, the toothpaste, which I use, the hand soap, a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you feel like you really want to embrace the essential oils immediately, that's the way to go. Then they have a whole bunch of other um, kits, but those are the two that I recommend. So that's what I got. I already have two prize winners. I hope that I will get some more prize winners. And Jenna, I'll bring you your prize when I'll see you on Thursday with the product guide if you do like. And Maddie, we'll connect soon. You absolutely can. Oh, <laughs> the oregano. You could wear it. And you know what's funny about the oregano is that um, to put in your food, it's recommended that you put it on the top, the end of a toothpick, and then stir the end of the toothpick into your um, sauces and stuff. So, I mean, you just use a tiny, tiny bit. So the fact that the woman was drinking it on a daily basis, I just can't imagine what she smelled like. I'm sure it was delightful. Um, okay, so that's what I have. It, um, th those are the enrollment kits. Again, if you have any interest in, in starting to incorporate essential oils in your life, now is the time to get those enrollment kits. Um, if you want to attend the training on Thursday about focus and concentration, you let me know and I will add you to your um, the Facebook private group. If you have any questions, if there are any topics of interest that you'd like to learn about, please let me know because I just love learning more about essential oils. Um, and lastly, sharing is truly caring. So if you could share my Facebook page with your friends, that'd be super groovy. I'd really appreciate that. Cause you know, it's a social, it's a network marketing business. I really don't want to reach out to strangers. Stranger danger. All right, bye friends. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.